All right, so we have an urgent update from Square Enix as posted right here, and it leads to this thread about the inventory wipe bug, that horrible, notorious bug that is going on. And it's pretty much gone viral, I guess you would say, since the recent patch. So this brand new official update from Square Enix goes over exactly what this bug is doing and also how you can kind of avoid this bug and really limit your exposure to the bug right now. So let's dive into this right now. Hey everyone, what's happening? Open World Games here, hope you're doing good and let's see what is going on with Outriders. My God, I had no idea that this would turn into such a mess, but we got a little bit of a peek with the demo, didn't we? All right, so it says, just a short note to reassure you that resolving the inventory wipe is our top priority and will remain so until fixed. And we're gonna click into this, kind of uh, reiterates the uh, same thing that we just read, but this comes from the community manager once again. It says, the moment we make a breakthrough, we will immediately update you all. As a reminder, we are still aiming to restore progression details here. We're gonna dive into that in just a moment. Now they say this, we started looking into this issue immediately yesterday, and I've continued to do so today. Yesterday, I started a gathering extra data in Steam from affected users in order to help us find a pattern in this particular bug. Now, we're seeing many of these reports appear to be specifically related to starting a multiplayer session from the Expedition's Outrider camp. If you're concerned that this issue may happen to you, we recommend avoiding this setup for the time being, as this greatly reduces the likelihood of the issue occurring. However, we're continuing to dig deeper into the issue, so any further details that you can provide if you've been affected will help us better understand this problem. Here's the info that will be helpful to our teams in trying to reproduce this issue consistently, and it goes on to ask all these questions. So if you do have this issue, if you've had your inventory wiped, I'm gonna throw this uh, you know, whole thread in the description below as a link so you can follow it, submit your report. Uh, all I have to say is, Good luck to everyone. Uh, but the biggest question also is, is this affecting single player? And this is the question that East Scorpion actually had. He asked, is this affecting single player? Also, I haven't played in the last two days because I value my items. And uh, Square Enix replied saying, single player appears to be at a lower risk than multiplayer, but it does not appear to be immune. The idea behind this threat is to continue to shed more light on this situation. Uh, so, you know, your best bet still, in my opinion, as indicated indicated by previous uh, Square Enix post is to shut off crossplay, party closed, and try to play as a single player game, which honestly, they need to add a patch right now where you can play the game offline. And so you don't have to worry about, um, you know, your inventory getting wiped. But it seems like a lot of the saved stuff in this game, your items and gear are server side. So I don't even think that's possible. But let's talk about the restoration process a little bit more here. We have this post here. It's been updated actually. So, you know, they got called out for this one. They had to cross out this statement right here. We believe that the rate of this bug appearing should be greatly reduced once the upcoming patch has been published. As you can see, that is no longer true. That patch has definitely stirred up this bug and uh, essentially caused it to be a, a bit more worse. I don't know how, how severe the bug is actually, but they said this, since the recent patch, we have seen an increase in reports of this issue. Resolving the inventory wipe is our top priority and will remain so until fixed. And then of course they have a new info gather thread, which I just read. Now they say we still intend to do a, uh, to run, excuse me, a one-off mass restoration. So anyone affected by this will still see their items restored. Here are our intentions for this restoration. Now there's some concerning stuff in here I wanted to highlight. They say, restoration should take place on a specific day and should be a one-time event. The exact day is to be determined, but we're hoping for this to occur in the coming weeks. We will update you when we have confirmation of date and timings. Uh, we will only be able to restore the most valuable tier of items lost, epics and legendaries, and we will unlikely restore an inventory full of blue gear. That makes, I guess, sense. The restoration should be additive to your inventory. It should not replace your current inventory now. This is what kills me. It says restored items may not have the exact same stats as the lost items. So this is a little concerning because a lot of you guys are fine tuning uh, your character right now and especially your weapons. And to do that, you have to find specific mods. You have to find, uh, you know, the materials to actually craft, modify your weapon and so on and so forth. So to not have your exact same weapon 
It would be super disappointed, uh, for, disappointing for a lot of people, for sure. Now, they did go on to say this as well. Note that restoration will not be possible for items that were acquired, but where the game connection was terminated before an autosave could complete as those items would never have made it into your server inventory or our logs. Such suspended autosaving is noticeable when the yellow autosave icon stays active for a longer period of time. Now, for individual restorations that were missed or that occur in the future, we plan to equip our teams to help on an ad hoc basis. Please note that these are intentions that are providing here for transparency. While we try our hardest to make things right, we unfortunately cannot make guarantees for specifics of the above or the timeline of this, as we may run into technical difficulties that may delay our work. And then they said they're also looking into accolades uh, wipe issue as well which i haven't been hearing like tons and tons of uh people complaining about that one now also this was the other question here do we need anything as far as the wiped character not being able to be played after the wipe sub a ticket or when this fix goes through we'll be able to play it again uh community manager responded saying at this point in time the inventory restorations will be automatic no ticket submission required as we'll be running a rule on our database to automatically automatically excuse me identify any users who have been affected we may ask you to open a ticket with customer support if the automate automatic restoration isn't successful for you in particular so there's those details i'm really trying to fill in any questions that you guys have about how this restoration system may work and what you could possibly do or what you will have to do if your inventory has been wiped. What you're gonna have to do, it seems, according to this post, of course, is wait uh, until they actually have the you know process in place to restore your items and the wait time seems to be, in my opinion, pretty lengthy as uh, indicated by the post here because they say this. You gotta remember they say the exact date is to be determined, but we're hoping for this to occur in the coming weeks that's for me you know that seems brutal if you're missing your inventory if you're missing your legendaries and stuff like that and um you know there's been uh some memes being posted here out on the subreddit about this whole situation we have viewer 2488 who says who's with me till the end and he says people still playing this weekend <laughs> going straight into battle without any concern they're risking it all. I'm telling you what. I'll be honest with you. I'm one of them. I'm like, you know, I actually played uh, co-op. I said to you guys that I wouldn't, but uh, I had people in my stream that wanted to play co-op. And I'm like, eh, I'm going to risk it. <laughs> so, yeah, that meme definitely applies to me. I, I honestly would recommend playing single player or trying to, you know, imitate single player right now. Uh, now, also, there's a post here uh, from Titan Gear who says, you're about to lose a lot of the player base people can fly. Uh, it says, guys, gals, that people can fly. I play a Devastator, so your nerfs didn't affect me in the slightest. Where at present, a problem to me is uh, you are doing the same bad things Destiny and Anthem did. You're doing the exact opposite of what the majority of the player base is begging you to do. And I'm really trying hard to keep my friends interested. I got two copies of the game and convince my cousin and his friends to play. Now, I've just finished, uh, I just finally, excuse me, got to Expeditions and the reduced time to complete them is horrid. I understand you want to gatekeep the streamers and YouTubers whose very job is showing how good they are when playing the game is their job. That I don't care about. What I care about, if the nerfs and wipes scaring my friends from even playing. If they quit, then I can't play. I tried six times to join a random team to only be kicked by uh, person seconds after I joined one of them was a world tier 3 person not even in game I and I have to hear my friends getting frustrated with stomp mechanics which seem to uh, permeate every single looter shooter fear that their inventory will be wiped I myself equipped an epic and it instantly disappeared out of my hands and the slot I placed it in this cannot continue I'm getting exhausted defending this game every single time some bad programming is driving the non devastators crazy and you know defending the game right now is rough like, if you're going to try to defend this game, because, of course, out in the media world, they're going to take advantage of this and be super sensational about the news headlines and talk about uh, this glitch that's going on. And it's not even sensational. It's the truth. This inventory bug is a massive issue and a deep concern to the community. Uh, now, also, he uh, finally says this. Please actually listen. If anyone is calling for nerfs, they are in the very, very minimum minority. Just look at Reddit where a huge chunk of your player base is hanging on for dear life. They do not want poorly thought out and rushed, rushed nerfs 
You're using a sledgehammer to fix a crack in the glass. I can't lose another looter shooter to tone deaf devs and execs. I just can't. Please stop this. So a lot of people agreed with this thread. And yeah, you know, with the nerfs and stuff like that, I do feel like that was uh, somewhat rushed as well. So I do uh, get where you guys are coming from with that one for sure. It's just shame that this has uh, actually happened. Now, uh, you know, there's some people out there that are actually uh, trying to refund their game. It says, PSA, the inventory bug qualifies as unplayable on Xbox. You can get a refund for the game if you request it, no matter the time played. So once you start seeing this stuff happen, I remember Cyberpunk, it started small like this, like you see it, but it's not good news at all to see this happening again. So they have got to figure this bug out like immediately. Honestly, they need to figure it out hopefully through the weekend and then get something to us, some sort of news as to what's happening by Monday. Like, I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna have to like hire new people but this just seems like these games don't have enough quality assurance, um, you know, and testing needed. So it's really, really a bummer. You know, even part of the community is requesting this. It's time to temporarily shut down the servers. Honestly, the option here should have been to go offline, to have an offline option. That would, have, I think, alleviated a lot of problems and people would just still be able to enjoy the game despite not having access to, you know, the multiplayer servers. It's such a shame they don't have that option with this game. All right, now it's time to go over your top comments. Re remember to leave a comment down below. It could end up in a future video. Let's do this. So, previous video was called this. Outriders news update. The situation has gotten worse. How is this even possible? So let's see what you guys had to say. Uh, Hatchet says, oh, he's back. It's Hatchet. He says, geez, at this rate, I'm ready for a cyberpunk video to lighten the moon. <laughs> oh my God. I am Dusky One says, gets appreciative gift, has inventory wiped now, that would be funny. Oh my god, don't even, dude, that would be horrible. Uh, and you got to remember the appreciation gift that they talked about, they confirmed that that would be coming after the uh, fix, the restoration process. So it's going to be a while to even get the appreciation gift. You know, they, they don't want to be like a meme where... What you are saying comes true, Dusky, where people get their appreciation gift and it disappears. That would be horrible. DZ says, after wiping, I respond invisible and was stuck in an invisible wall. Lasted seven minutes. How fun. Groku says, it really bugs me that you didn't even attempt to shoot those explosive canisters behind that busted wall with the chest. LOL. Oops. Uh, Kenneth says, I agree. The legendary should definitely have three uh, slots. Yeah, that would be really, really cool. Ghastly Knight says, this is what happens when you try to rush patches and fixes. LOL. Exactly. Winter Wolf says, the third mod slot could be what makes the legendary. Well, legendary. This would open more possibilities and combos. Just a thought. Uh, you know, a lot of you guys are saying, make it happen. People can fly. You can see the 102 upvotes there. So hopefully they're paying attention. It seems like you guys want to be able to extend... Uh, you know, the mod slots in the legendaries. Can you imagine like getting news that Oh, hey, uh, all legendaries now have a third slot in them. Check it out. You can even upgrade your uh, beastly weapon even more now. That would be so cool. And it would give you a reason to revisit guns perhaps that you missed out on. So I think that could be really, really neat. But thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned here for more Outriders. I was literally just going to say Anthem. But more Outriders news updates and... Uh, of course, open world gaming goodness, and I will see you all next time. Take care.